Good day to everyone. In this video, we'll see about the test case design techniques. Now, what is this test case design techniques and where do we use it? Let us take an example now. Let us assume that we are building an Amazon application and we are writing the test scenarios now. We'll write the scenarios as verify Amazon logo present in login page, verify username text field is present in login page, verify password text field is present in login page, verify login button is present in login page, then verify login page with valid credentials, next verify login page with invalid credentials. When it comes to verify login page with invalid credentials, we can we have three scenarios here that is uh, we can write multiple test cases here like uh, open the browser enter the url enter invalid username enter invalid password and next would be enter valid username enter invalid password and next enter invalid username and enter valid password like this we can write multiple test cases in order to cover the maximum possible test scenarios we use this test case design techniques. Test case design techniques are the key to planning, designing and implementing the tests for software application. These techniques involve various steps that aim to ensure the effectiveness of test cases in uncovering bugs or other defects in the software programs. These test case design techniques, they help us to test all our software features and functions efficiently. If a test engineer is experienced, then he would be able to write multiple test scenarios or test cases by looking at the requirements. But if a test engineer is fresher, then he would not be able to do it. That is why we started using this test case design techniques. It will help us to identify more possible test scenarios while using this technique. We have five types of test case design techniques. That is boundary value analysis equivalence class partitioning, decision table, state transition, error guessing. Now let us see one by one how this test case design techniques works or how we make use of this test case design techniques. First is boundary value analysis. It is a type of a test case design technique where it is based on the testing the boundaries of the test data. It includes maximum, minimum, inside or outside boundaries and the error values. This technique it is used to identify the mistake done by the developer on the boundary conditions. If the input uh, is range of values between A and B, then we are going to design the test cases for A, A plus 1 and A minus 1 and also for B, B plus 1 and B minus 1. Now we'll see an example for boundary value analysis and understand how we actually do this boundary value analysis. Now let us consider that testing a text field that requires the user to enter a number between 1 and 10. Such a condition it will be given by the developer. When such a condition is given, we cannot test all the data or for all the numbers. So in order to test these, we will apply the test case design technique here. Now we are applying the boundary value analysis that is a, a plus 1 and a minus 1. So the boundary values here is 1 and 10. We will test for 1 and number 2 and number 0. That is a, a plus 1, a minus 1. That is a is 1 and a plus 1 is uh, number 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then a minus 1, that is 1 minus uh, 1 is 0. Next we will test for 10, 11 and 9. That is the boundary value for 10. If the numbers 2 and 9 they are accepting, then it is understood that uh, all the other numbers also it will accept. In the same way, uh, 0 and minus 11, it should not accept here. If it is accepting, then there is a bug or there is a defect in the text field. This is how the boundary value analysis is done. Here we are covering in and out of the boundary. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any of our video or updates. Thank you.